Hey guys, what's happening again? I got, I got to plug these, man. These jerseys are sweet. I got to make sure you guys go and order one. Make sure to go down in the description, click the link in the description, order yourself a BowlerX.com jersey just like this. Uh, you'll be able to get one shipped right to your door. You can either do that or you can head over to the Bethlehem, Pennsylvania location and get yourself one in person over at their pro shop at Steel City, at Steel City Bowl. So head over, do that, hit the link in the description. But today, first off, I want to talk about a new Motive Bowling Ball coming out, that new yellow tank. Uh, what did they even call it? I don't even remember what they call it, but it's the yellow tank. And they sent me two of them and they specifically said, hey, JR, look, these balls are strong. We got one at 1,000 grit out of box, and then we did one at 3,000 for you. Drill them the same way, show these people what it can do. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you what this thing can do. Uh, between the two, we'll throw them both. They're both laid out the same. The typical, this one, actually I did the strong layout like I always do with the urethane type bowling balls. So this is the, uh, this is 45 by four by 45. So we made sure to do a stronger pin position, get it to make sure it's gonna flare and keep going like every other urethane ball does. So remember that blaze, the, uh, the, the tank, or the blitz, I mean, the tank blitz that I did, that ball reaction was ridiculous and crazy. I think they've upgraded and they've done some amazing things with a lot of their new microcell polymer type covers. So well, let's check this one out. I'm not even sure this one's microcell. I'm pretty sure it is, but let's go check out this new tank, 44 foot lead condition, and we'll see what she's got here in a minute. Stay tuned. They say bowling is a dying sport. A dying sport. <laughs> I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. BowlerX.com for the love of bowling. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. We're gonna take out that new tank. The old yellow tank here is gonna be pretty uh, interesting. I did throw it a few times the other day just to see if the hype was real about how much it hooks. Hype's real. So, uh, this one's the 1000 grit. And we're gonna kind of go back and forth and show you the difference between how you can actually change the surface of these bowling balls and make them do something completely different. So we're gonna start straighter. <laughs> Right around that 9, 10, 11 range and see if this ball can get down the lane. <laughs> no chance for a thousand grit. Thousand grit surface on that has no chance. So if you're looking for some get up and go, as you can see, that like that's what we're looking for. When you do have that much surface, you don't want it to hook and then puke and back up. You want it to hook and keep hooking with that much surface. So now we'll switch over to the 3000 grit and try to throw the same shot and see what happens. A lot cleaner and I even got that one to the right into the dry and it still didn't overhook so that's good or not like the the one that went Brooklyn. So now we'll switch back. Let's go back to the thousand grit ball. We're gonna wipe it off each time too. Each ball we're gonna wipe them off after each shot. She does get dirty really fast. That's the only unfortunate thing about some of these, you know, bright solid color balls is the dirt and grime from the lanes and the machines in the back. It does rub off on them, but easy to clean up. Get yourself some, uh, creating the difference ball cleaner, some of that purple stuff or anything like that and be good to go. The life after death is my favorite. All right, here we go. Moving five left with the thousand grit. Yum. All right, there's thousand grit. Picks up early and you can see how smooth it was off the entire part of the lane, off the back end, off the middle. But it is, it's reading the lane at like 15 feet. It's got no chance of getting completely down lane. But that's pretty sweet. So now, let's see the difference in ball reaction on the 3000 grit one. Five board move. So this actually ends up being about a, a five and three. There you go, so you see a two pin out of the 3000 grit. Quite a bit cleaner, 
So that goes to show you how much, how well this ball is able to be manipulated with the cover stock. You can make them cleaner. So for my, for this ball to strike there, we're going to stick with the 3000 for a second. I'm going to move two right. I'm going to make a two and one to the right. And it doesn't, still doesn't pick up early enough. So it's probably more like a, it's probably more like a four and four and two, four and two less at these two surfaces right now. I'll try one more with the 3000 grit and see where it goes. Don't get my camera, sir. All right. So where was I? Two, four. All right. So this is going to be, so now this ends up actually just being a one and a one and one total. All right, so it ends up being four and two total different than the thousand grit. At least minimum. Micro, yeah, I think these are the micro cell polymer. So we'll take this one now, go back to the 1000 grit. And where that 3000 just struck, I'll throw another one right there with this 1000 grit. You'll really see the difference. Look at that. Just dead left. It has no chance of getting down the lane. So big, big difference in the surface between that one and the other one. You can make this ball really get up and go and you can make this ball really get down the lane nice and clean. So let's take the, th the 1000 again. Now we'll go five more left. So now we're standing 30. And see if we can get this to go around the lane a little bit. Not too bad my foot slipped out from under me though. Made me kind of made me kind of stand up on it just a little bit. We're gonna try that again here in a minute. But in order for me to get, I'm gonna miss the head pin with the one with that's three thousand. Watch this. I'm standing in that same spot. More than likely missing the head pin with this one. Yeah. No chance. No chance of getting up the hill with that one. So just keep in mind how much you can manipulate this cover stock. That's actually really cool. That's the good thing about these types of bowling balls. You know you're going to get the smoother reaction, so you can manipulate. Do I want it to be earlier? Do I want it to be later? So that's the cool thing about bowling balls. You can turn one bowling ball into multiple bowling balls. All right, now I'm going to stand 35, so it's another five board move. Let's see what we can do with this yellow, I think they call it the yellow jacket, right? It finally just came to me. Yeah, so this one still hooks the lane. Man. This place is so slippery compared to everybody else. It's so slick, I got a two on. And... All right. Go. I'm going to keep going left with this 1,000 grit. I'm going to stand around 40. I think this is what it comes at, yes. Yeah, so it's going to bail from there. So it finally got far enough left to where it doesn't make it up the hill. And it only doesn't make it up the hill because it hooks so early. So we're going to uh, we'll throw one more shot with... Uh, 3,000 grit one from there. Now this may be where I can slow down with the higher grit surface. And maybe it'll pick up enough to get there. I don't know. Almost. Yeah, so that's the difference. So that's when it would come into play when you would use the cleaner surface to give it to, get it to store a little energy and, and wait to use the back end. Whereas now with the thousand grit, 
It's not going to store the energy. It's going to use it up early and not quite get there. All right, one more shot with the 1,000 grit. I'll slow down and go against the ball return. Try to spin it, see if we can get it there. Hook a lot. Oh, not quite enough. It tried. But again, I think the 3,000 gets there because it stores a little bit of energy instead of using it all up. Like that, that's like a snow tire trying to dig in so fast. And by the time it finally starts picking up, like, or by the time it finally gets to a certain part of the lane, it's just dead. It's got no more energy. It's got nowhere else to go. The 3,000 should store some energy a little bit more. Slow down, get around it. Might do it. Yeah, so you see how that one gets there. So that's the cool thing about these. The good thing is, is being able to manipulate the bowling balls enough to get them to do what you want. So that there is the yellow jacket, the yellow tank. Two different surfaces, one at 1,000, one at 3,000. You see the big difference. Remember, a lot of the times you're going to use the higher grit uh, when you're trying to get the ball to be a little bit cleaner, store more energy. When you have you know, the hooking surfaces, that's when you're going to use stuff like that. When you're on a league condition where you like to play super straight but you want to keep it clean, you use something like that. If you're on a league condition that is flooded, uses a lot of volume in the middle of the lane, you'd take and use the 1,000 grit one because then it'll pick up early enough and allow you to still stay straighter. Um, if you're on a short pattern, you can use the 1,000 grit one because then you can stay firm. You can throw it hard and you know it's going to pick up and bleed off that energy and it's going to stay on line. Whereas then when they break down, you go to something like the 3,000 where you kind of want to go around it just a little bit like I showed you and you'll be perfect. So make sure to hit the link in the description. Get yours today or come up here to Bowler X Pro Shop and Training Center in Waterford, Michigan uh, at Waterford Lanes and I'll order one up and we'll drill it up for you here too. So uh, that's all I got for you. Order your shirt, order your balls, order my books. Links in the description down there as well. And until next time, I'm out of here. We'll see you guys later.